Hey everyone, Tesla Tom here. Thanks for joining us. We are in our Tesla Model 3 Performance Stealth here in Sydney, Australia. We're going through software update 2021.24.3. Let's go through it right now. Big update, lots to get through. So here it is, the Tesla Model 3 dual motor with the underlying red, therefore it's a performance model. 29,000 odd kilometers on it. It's the autopilot computer with a full self-driving computer. Full self-driving package is included as is premium connectivity. As I said, 2021.24.3. Let's go straight to the release notes. So technically speaking, this 24.3 release has just got the minor fixes, minor bug fixes and improvements, but we will go through 2021.24 for you guys because I haven't gone through that with you yet. So let's go through the first feature, car wash mode. Let's press that. Car wash mode. Car wash mode closes all windows, locks the charge port and disables windshield wipers. Sentry mode, walk away door locks and parking sensor chimes. For automatic car washes with conveyor belts, the free roll option shifts to neutral and prevents the parking brake from automatically applying if you leave. I'll talk about what that means in a second. To access car wash mode, tap controls, service, car wash mode. Let's do that right now. So controls, service, car wash mode. Let's press that. Car wash mode closes all windows, locks the charge board and disables windshield wipers. Sentry mode, walk away door locks and parking sensor chimes. For automatic car washes with conveyor belts, the free roll option shifts to neutral and prevents the parking brake from automatically applying if you leave. Car wash mode will exit if the vehicle speed exceeds 15 kilometers an hour. Important point to note there. Let's press enter car wash mode. I just heard all the locks click around me. The air conditioning has gone up. Let's have a look here. The features that are included with car wash mode, keep speed below 15 kilometers an hour. Charge port is locked. Walk away door lock is off. Automatic wipers are off. Parking assist chimes are off. Sentry mode off. Climate is recirculating. Frunk is closed. Trunk is closed. And you can enter screen clean mode if you like, which is basically this black screen where you can clean your screen at the same time. I'll just exit so we can have a look at the rest of the features. And you can fold the mirrors if you like. You can hear the mirrors beside me folding. And automatic car wash, enable free roll, press brake and shift to D to enable. Now, I haven't seen many of these automatic car wash types in Australia, but having been to the US and used one of these automatic car washes, they do ask you to put the car into neutral so that it can roll on the conveyor belt and the car is washed at the same time. So that's what I think this automatic car wash means. So to enable, press brake, shift to D to enable, and then enable free roll, which I'm not gonna do today, obviously, because first of all, I'm not washing the car and also because I'm on a slope. So I don't want the car to go to neutral, but it essentially puts your car into neutral so it can go on the conveyor belt. Very easy. And all these features here are basically to keep the car as sealed as possible, locks the charge port door so it doesn't open halfway during the wash, keeps the wipers off, takes sentry mode off, keep climate on recirculate so it doesn't vent too much. And uh, if you do walk away from the car, if you want to exit the vehicle, the doors won't lock on you automatically, keeps the front and trunk closed. So pretty handy feature there. And uh, you can exit the car wash mode straight away like that. Okay, so the next one is mirror auto dim. Let's press that. Mirror auto dim, you can now enable or disable automatic dimming for your mirrors to access tap controls, mirror, mirror auto dim. Let's do that, controls, mirror, which is that one there. And you can select mirror auto dim. Now, I don't personally mind having the car decide for me when to have the mirrors dimmed or not. Obviously, this is important when the light changes, like at uh, sunrise and sunset. If you don't like having those mirrors dimmed uh, during those hours of the day, then you can turn that function off, which is also quite handy. All right, the next one is dash cam improvements. Let's read what this says. Dash cam improvements. Dash cam can now automatically save clips whenever your vehicle detects the occurrence of a safety event, such as an accident or airbag deployment. Recordings captured are stored locally and never transmitted to Tesla. To opt in, tap controls, safety and security, dash cam auto. To learn more about how to set up and use dash cam, please refer to the owner's manual. All right, so let's have a look at that. So controls, safety and security, scroll down to dash cam and I've currently got it on manual. You can have it on auto now or turn it off of course. And on honk, I've got it on blue, which means when I honk the horn, it saves to dash cam. Let's press auto and you can press this little eye symbol here and it explains what it means. So auto means it saves up to 10 minutes of video to your USB automatically when your vehicle detects the occurrence of a safety event, such as an accident or airbag deployment. 
manual, tap the dash cam icon to save a 10 minute recording to your USB, press and hold the icon to pause recording, on honk automatically triggers a save on horn press. Recordings captured are stored locally and never transmitted to Tesla. In using dash cam, please note it is your sole responsibility to consult and comply with all local regulations and property restrictions regarding video recordings. Now, there was a few updates ago where the footage is now saved locally onto the onboard hard drive, separate to a USB stick or a solid state drive. I'm not sure whether Auto does that as well, whether it saves to that onboard hard drive. Uh, if you know more than me, please let me know in the comment section below. Uh, this is important as well, because I've seen a lot of dash cam and sentry mode footage posted online, but just take a note, guys, if you do post anything online, and it's got people that you don't know, just be aware that it is your sole responsibility to consult and comply with all local regulations and property restrictions regarding video recording. So just keep that in mind if you're gonna post uh, any dash cam or sentry mode footage uh, online involving other people. All right, the next one is range display. Now, this one I quite like. So range display, you can now switch between battery percentage and distance units by tapping the range display next to the battery icon. So in the past, if you wanted to switch from uh, battery percentage to uh, you know kilometers or miles, you had to go into uh, settings and then uh, display, and then scroll down to uh, energy percentage uh, or distance like that. But now uh, with this update, you can just press this little icon here where the battery is, and it switches very quickly between uh, distance remaining 323 kilometers for my situation, or 77%. Now I'm quite leaving it on default as 77%. There may be some situations where you want to quickly switch between the two to see how much range you've got, where you're driving in unfamiliar territory, for example, or a new location. So this is now a quite a handy feature to have. Now the next feature is super handy. Remain connected to Wi-Fi in drive. To remain connected to Wi-Fi when shifting into gear, tap the Wi-Fi icon, Wi-Fi settings, remain connected in drive. This is especially useful for users who wish to use their hotspots for connectivity. Now, I've we've got premium connectivity in this car, so uh, that means that regardless of whether it's on Wi-Fi or a cell connection, um, it doesn't matter. We've got all the features like maps, uh, Spotify, things like that. But if you don't have the premium connectivity option, which is currently $9.99 in Australia per month, uh, you can actually hotspot to your phone, which is what I've done. So let's uh, press the Wi-Fi icon there. So there's my phone connected as a hotspot, TG iPhone 11. Let's go to Wi-Fi settings. So now I just scroll down to uh, my phone there, TG iPhone 11, and now I can press remain connected in drive. So if, uh, for example, I don't have premium connectivity, just click that icon there and uh, you know, your phone is connected to the car now. Now, I don't know if all the features are available by this hotspot. I can't test it, of course, because I've got the premium connectivity. But if you don't have premium connectivity and if you've got your phone connected via hotspot, uh, please let me know in the comment section below if all the features are available to you by the hotspot option and now this new remain connected in drive feature. And the last thing is new language support. So new language support, you can now select Hungarian, Romanian, and Russian as your language. To update your language setting, tap controls, display, and select the desired option from the language drop-down menu. Note your vehicle must be in park to change languages. So now we've got Hungarian, uh, Romanian, and Russian. So let's have a look at that. Let's go to uh, display. Let's scroll down to the language and touchscreen. So now we've got up the top here, Russian and we've also got uh, where is it Hungarian and also Romanian so good to see more languages added to uh, the drop down menu and that's basically it guys uh, just one more thing actually two more things I want to show you uh, the first thing is um, with YouTube in the past uh, there's been issues with logging in um, there's been a bug in the last few updates so now you can actually log in with your Google login to YouTube so let me just show you that quickly Okay, so now you can press sign in like that. And it'll bring you to the Google login screen. So I'm gonna use my ludicrous feed account. Okay, I'm gonna enter my password. Okay, two-step verification. Let's do that quickly. Okay, so it looks like it's verified and now it should be logged into my ludicrous feed account. And there it is, there's my login there, uh, working well, so excellent to see there. And look, we've got uh, Adam from Tesla Australia with that 20, 21.24.3. Look how quick he is, he got up there so quick. Well done, Adam. Um, and now you can look at all your uh, Google account settings there, which is good. I think that was fixed in the previous uh, update, so uh, good to see. And by the way, as you can see, Disney Plus is not one of the options here uh, in the theatre uh, in Australia at this stage, but you can actually still go to Disney Plus uh, using YouTube, and I'll show you how to do that in one second. Okay, so you can actually just type in uh, Disney Plus, 
in here in the search like that and uh, there you go you can actually log in like this so visit site okay and you can press login up here okay so I log in like this so it is a bit of a process and unfortunately there's no native app at this moment um, it'd be nice if that does come in with the next few updates in line with North America then we don't have to go through this process every time but you can access Disney Plus this way it's a little bit slower because you've got to log in every time but there you go you've got Disney Plus in full screen mode there uh, using YouTube that's a bit of a workaround there all right Alrighty guys, well that's it from me. That's uh, Software Update 2021.24.3 with uh, a myriad of features now, which is great to see. And uh, if you enjoyed that video, please give it a thumbs up. Really appreciate that. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you've not done so already yet. And uh, leave a comment below if you've seen any new features that I've missed in this video. And if you've been lucky enough to go for a drive uh, in your neck of the woods, if you're not uh, under current restrictions, then let me know if you've seen any bug fixes or improvements on your drive. I'd really love to hear from you. All right, guys, stay safe. And until the next one, happy charging.